Well, hello there, my little goldies, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another video. Uh, so it's been a little bit since I have made a video, but um, we're going to go ahead and um, do a unboxing of this product here. Now, um, we have a pretty big skinny box here, and so this is a, a diamond painting. And this is from the company Victorious Moon, which is out of the UK. And they contacted me and they sent me a couple of products to review. So I have this diamond painting and then I have another product that we're going to review. But um, I'll make a separate video for both products. Like this one here is going to be the unboxing of the diamond painting. And then I'll have another video where uh, I show the other product I got. And I don't want to say what it is because I don't want to spoil it for you. But anyway, um, so... Victorious Moon is a company in the UK and they make um, stuff like diamond paintings and paint by number kits and um, and other supplies and stuff that go along with that. So um, anyway, they have different sizes of diamond paintings and you can even uh, send them a picture. Like if you want a custom one, you can send them a photograph um, that you have and then uh, it'll be put onto a diamond painting canvas and you'll get the drills you know the beads and everything to go along with it so anyway a diamond painting is in a way it's kind of a paint by numbers thing but it's it's um it's a canvas with little uh holes and so what you put in those holes and there's numbers that go along with each corresponding color so um what you do is you match the color to the number that is on the um on the picture and you put the corresponding color of bead in there and uh, they're called drills it's like a sparkly resin bead and so um, it is called a drill or diamonds and so ergo the term diamond painting so anyway like I said they have different size ones and this one here I think I got a pretty big one so um, the, uh, they uh, gave me they gave me a choice of which one I wanted and um, they went ahead and sent it to me for review now they did send this product to me for an honest review um, I did not purchase this with my own money this was sent to me for um, the purpose of making this video review so anyway we're gonna go ahead and take it out and we're gonna see what we get with this thing so um, a lot of us that love coloring um, a lot of people have gotten into diamond painting, which is really cool. Um, diamond painting has really become pretty popular. Uh, and uh, it kind of um, has the same mindful relaxation as coloring does. So a lot of people really, really enjoy it. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and take the, the stuff out. Okay, so let's go ahead and just slide everything out of the box. And then I will go ahead and put the box aside for just a second. And we're going to just kind of look at everything that we get. So um, we have a few things inside this roll here. And this roll is actually going to be our canvas. And uh, let me just... Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the stuff out from the inside of it. And then I'll, I'll show you the canvas in just a second. So um, I have... We have this... Uh, bag with all of our stuff in here. These are our supplies that we're going to need. So let's go ahead and untape this and let's just see what we have inside. Okay. So, sorry for the noise. It makes a lot of noise as it comes out. <laughs> but um, anyway, oh, so anyway, we have our, um, looks like they have the diamonds in the, in the baggie here. So, there's this is what some of the drills look like this is one color and so as you can see it has a number on there and so this big number here is um a number that kind of matches like cross stitch thread too so um it, it has um these beads and cross stitch colors you know they have the the same number and uh all the colors match like with the number and so like if you need to order more of a certain color then you can do that if you know this particular number you can actually order more of um, more of a color that you need and then it will um, it will match with what you need so there's more and the bigger the painting is the more detailed it's going to be and of course the more drills you get so here are some of our colors and it looks like we're gonna have a lot of colors here guys so let's just see what we have and sometimes um, it just depends on the company but um, sometimes you'll have them in like little boxes or um, sometimes you'll have them in these little ziploc bags now what I recommend 
if you're going to do this, um, I recommend getting like a bead container and then uh, putting labels on like with the with the proper number on there. Um, and then that way, you know, they're safe, you know, just in case like, let's say this baggie doesn't want to seal up right and then you're going to end up having stuff all over the place. So I would totally recommend getting like bead containers to put these in and then and then labeling accordingly. So, um, but yeah, let's say, um, let's say that um, you wanted to get, um, let's say you wanted to order more of this color here. Um, you would look at this number and then you would order um, more of these color beads and, um, and then you will have extra of a, of, a, of a color you like. And you can also get either square drills or round drills. I think I got the square ones. So we have all kinds of colors and they give you more than enough to complete your painting. So you can see that some of the bags have more drills in them. Some of the bags have a little bit less and uh, it just depends on how much of one color you're gonna you're gonna need so you, you can see that um, this bag is pretty full here so there's gonna be a lot of this color in there and then this one has less so you're not gonna have as many ho uh, holes with this particular color okay so and we have a lot <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of just show you just all the colors that we have which is a lot but like I was saying, the colors, the, the colored numbers on these match, like if you're a cross-stitcher, um, it has the same number as um, cross-stitching um, floss or cross-stitching thread. And I'm just going to go ahead and just dump the rest of these out. Otherwise, it's going to take us a really, really long time to get all of these. So, I mean, look at all these colors, guys. <laughs> look at all these colors for this painting that we have. So, yeah. All right, there are all of our bags of colors, okay, and then we've also got, we've also got this little baggie here, and we have some more tools in here that you're going to need to do your painting, okay, uh, I want to try to find, it. there it is, I didn't want to totally rip the bag. <laughs> It was taped. I didn't want to totally rip it and then have nothing to put it in, but they give you... Okay, so we have two. Um, this is the, the pen that you use to put your, your diamonds in there, and then uh, here's what you would use to kind of hold on to. It's got like a really nice cushion grip on there, so it's, it's a little bit more comfortable to hold. So it's got like a squishy cushion grip on there, which is awesome. So this, this end here... This end here, is, you pick up one single diamond with it. And then this end here, whoops, this end right there, um, I think this will hold like four at once. So like if you want to place like several at once, you, you, you would use this end, okay? And then we've also got tweezers here, just in case like if you if you mess up and you gotta take a drill out and replace it or something. So some companies will give you a pair of tweezers and some won't, and um, apparently Victoria's Moon does, so that is, pretty awesome and then a couple more things in here we've got we've got a little package of this wax now this is you're gonna need like this wax to to put into the the pen here to be able to pick up the the beads that way the um, that way the pen has something to grip to like um, how do I how do I explain it um, that way um, because if you try to pick up a bead without this in there, it'll just fall out. So you need something to grip onto the bead to be able to do that. So you would just kind of peel back this, this cover right there, and then you would dip the pen into the wax, and then um, that's what you would use to pick up the, 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 uh, the drills. And then you have this little tray here. Oh, there we go. We have this little tray here, and this is what you use to put your drills in and you kind of shake it back and forth and it lines up just so so that you're able to pick it up quite a bit easier so let's go ahead and move this aside for just a minute okay let's move this aside for just a second and then let's go ahead and unroll the canvas and i'll show you what we have and we should have a reference picture in here too that's going to show us like what we have okay so Go ahead and unroll this. All right, here we go. So, okay, it's got. Okay, here is a piece of paper with the with the key. So this is 
this is what you're going to look at to tell what color corresponds with what number, okay? Hopefully, I'm just going to make sure that we're in frame here. So here's the paper that shows you um, what color corresponds with what number. And that's how you're going to know where to put your, where, where you're going to put your drills, okay? So we should have, all right, so we have, oh, we've got something else in here that I did not see. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what is in this plastic container here. All right. Oh, we've got, looks like we've got a little sparkly, looks like we got a little sparkly pen here, guys. All right, guys, I am back. I had to take a little bit of a break. Sorry about that. So um, I'm filming some of this again because uh, I was going through some of the footage and just didn't like what I had. Uh, didn't have uh, some of the stuff in frame. But you guys actually did see all of the colors that I pulled out of the, the baggies. Um, well, I mean, I still left them in the baggies, obviously, you know, because they'd spill everywhere. But um, you guys kind of saw all the colors that we had. But I wanted to go ahead and go over the toolkit again that, that we had. And um, during... Between the last footage that I shot and and right now, um, I started recording this on Saturday, February 13th, and today is actually Valentine's Day, February 14th. It's Sunday morning. So between the footage that I shot on Saturday and when I came back, I did start working on the painting a little bit, and I'm going to show you. I'm actually going to try to pull apart the, um, the plastic stuff and kind of show you the picture that we got. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to kind of go over the tools with you guys again, too just to kind of make sure that we have everything in frame and show you. So I, I got my camera a little bit lowered and we're just going to go through and it, and it came in this little bag here. And like I said, I've messed with them a little bit um, because I did actually attach. Um, I did start working on this, this painting because I got very, very excited and wanted to kind of get it going. So um, now um it came a lot nicer than what I have it now because I just kind of put everything back in the baggies, but at least we'll be able to see, you know, everything that we have. So this here is the wax that you peel off. This is what you're going to dip your pen in uh, because you're going to need um, something sticky for your pen to grip onto the little drills. If you try to use the uh, a diamond painting pen without anything like this, then the drills are just going to fall off. You're not going to be able to pick them up. So um, what you do is you just, you peel off a corner of this. You just peel off a corner of this and you would dip your pen into there. And I'll show you that in just a minute. But you'll be able to see that there's some little holes in it. It did not come like this. Uh, you know, I promise it didn't come like this. It was all brand new. But like I said, I started working on the, the thing last night a little bit. So you can see that I've actually started using it. Okay. And, and it's just, um, and, and you want to kind of keep it covered because otherwise it's going to dry out. Uh, it looks like they gave some, now this little paper here, it looks like it's some double-sided tape or some double-sided adhesive. Um, your diamond painting is going to have adhesive stuff on there. And so I guess they give this in case like, um, maybe some of the sticky stuff may wear off and so then you can you know then you can reapply some adhesive and then um your drills will stick to it because that's what your drills are going to stick to on your painting and then here is the little tray that you put the drills into it's got a little spout on there so when you're done you can pour them back into your container now what i recommend like i said guys um the colors from victoria's moon does come in these little baggies there's a block baggies. Now what I recommend is um, getting maybe a bead container and you can get those. Uh, you can also get those from Victoria's Moon. They have a lot of accessories. <clears throat> so you can get you can get little containers to put your drills in. Uh, I know they've also got them on Amazon too. So um, but you can get like little bead containers and put the the drills in and they have snap lids and so um, to me, I think it keeps a little bit safer instead of maybe these baggies because, like, let's say it doesn't zip lock all the way and then you're going to have some spillage. So, you know, uh, I don't know. I, I like the idea of, like, the little bead containers with the, with the snap lids. But anyway, I'm going to put that color aside. And then we've also got in here a couple of other little tools. This here is going to be your painting pen. So you have the smaller end 
Okay, so this is what you're going to use to pick up your drills. And so again, like I was saying, you're going to, what you would do is you would peel off the little plastic thing on some of the wax there. And then I'm gonna just take this corner and we're just gonna just dip it into that wax right there. And it's better to kind of do it on a on the table here. Let me try to do that for you guys. It's better to do it on a flat surface, but you just dip it into the wax and then you see the pink stuff on the pen that's gonna help you pick up your drills, okay? So then we have this side over here and this is a multi-placer, so this holds several different drills at once. I think it holds about four, maybe five. Okay, so there's that. And then they also gave you, now some companies will give this to you and some won't, and it looks like Victoria's Moon actually gives you a set of tweezers. So in case you mess up and you need to take a drill out, you can do that. Some people actually paint with the tweezers. I don't know. I don't think I'd be good at that. <laughs> um, I think I'll just stick with the drill pen for sure. Okay, so there's that. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of the stuff back into our bag. And I'm going to keep the wax in here because I dropped it on the floor yesterday. Couldn't find it to save my soul. Finally found it. Ugh. Drove me absolutely bonkers. <laughs> it really did. Okay, so then another little extra they gave is um, they give they give another kind of pen. And so this here, whoops, if I can get it out of here better. So this here is another kind of, of pen. Um, now I hear that this part works better with um, round drills. Now I got the square ones for this painting. You can either pick round or square. I think I might have said that earlier in the video. You can either pick round or square drills when you order your picture. But this, um, you could pick up like small rhinestones with it or look, it works better with, um, I think, round drills. And then this end over here is actually a wax end and it's pretty big and you can use it to pick up drills as well. And it's got little glitters in there. Can you guys see that? Little crystals in there? That is really pretty. I like that. So I'm gonna play with that and see what I like better as far as the pens go. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put this back into my container to keep it safe. And um, try to get it to try to get it to snap closed here. It's a little tricky. All right, so there's our, here are our little tools. Okay, I'm just gonna put that aside. So here's our little tools and this is what we're gonna need. And I kept this baggie out because this is what I'm using right now. Um, this is a, um, this painting has uh, quite a bit of color blocking, so that's really good. But what I'm gonna do is we're going to try to, um, I'm gonna try to unroll this canvas and just kind of show you the picture we have here. Uh, let's see here, which I may have to. Um, I may have to raise the camera to be able to do that, but this is a 60 by 60 canvas. All right, this is a 60 by 60. And what I'm going to try to do is we're gonna try to unroll this thing a little bit. Oops. Now here, what they do, and I folded this up, this is an extra sheet of paper. Um, this is a listing of our colors and it looks like the symbols on the canvas. So you would match up like um, whatever symbol you have on the canvas. Like let's say, okay, this is our color number 22 here. Okay, so the color 22 that is on this paper, and it looks like we have 32 colors in this painting. So number 22 is this one here. And so you will see, let's see, uh, hopefully we got it in frame. So you'll see on the canvas that it's going to be, the symbol for that is going to be a blank white square, okay? And then the DMC number for that is 939. Uh, let's see. Yep, is 939 right there. It's 939. So like I was saying earlier in the video, like if you want an, if you want more of say 939, that's the 939 is going to be your DMC number and that's what you're going to order to get that color. Okay. 
And again, like I was saying, that is going to match um, cross stitching threads. So it kind of makes it handy if you're a cross stitcher as well. So let's unroll this canvas. And I started it up here in this one corner. I just have a few drills on there, but what I'm gonna try to do, oh my goodness, I need <laughs> my table. Oh my goodness, my table here. Now I do believe I have a 60 by 60. It is a very, very big canvas. And that's a good thing though, because the, the bigger it is, the more detailed it's gonna be. But what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to peel back some of this plastic so we can get an idea of what this picture is going to look like. And let's see, I think it's gonna go this way. All right, so now over here on the left side is your symbol list, like this is gonna be your key. So here is what you're gonna look at to um, for your colors. Now um, this little picture here that you're gonna see down below here, um, that's our little, this is what the painting is going to look like. That's uh, I got a galaxy painting and, uh, they gave me the choice of, of picking which painting I wanted. Oh, there we go. So that picture right there and it's really tiny. So it's going to be, you know, a little hard to judge by, but it's a, a galaxy painting, you know, a sky with a, a galaxy. Um, and then here is going to be the legend. So this is what you're going to follow to be able to put down whatever colors it tells you on your symbols okay so this is a I believe this is a 60 by 60 and like I said the bigger it is the better it's going to be the more detailed it's going to be and uh, yeah so let me try to get us a little bit more room um, so I'm gonna try I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead well maybe maybe I'll just keep it close I'm gonna go ahead and just start peeling back some of this plastic very carefully now um, as you can see, I do have a few drills on here. I started working on it yesterday, okay? And I'll kind of tell you my experiences. I don't have very many of the drills down. I just started working on this yesterday, but let me just peel some of this back, hopefully, so that we can actually see what kind of picture that we have. And I'm gonna do it very carefully because I don't want to mess this up. And I'm just gonna do it a section at a time. I'm not gonna be able to take the whole thing off all at once because um, otherwise we're gonna have major trouble here. So here's part here's part of it. And let's see. I feel like it tore a little bit, but that's all right. We'll be able to reattach. Let's just peel some of it off this way. Now, I won't show you the whole thing because, like I said, I don't want to mess up the, the picture. And this is very, 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 very sticky. So as you can see, there's like going to be a lot of color blocking there. Okay. All right. Let me try to peel up some of this. kind of give you an idea of what this is going to look like. I wish that they gave a bigger like reference picture so that um, you can actually kind of see what it's supposed to look like. Um, you know what, actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my iPad instead of peeling all of this off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my iPad and I'm going to show you the picture that we got. I think that'll be better than, than peeling all of this off at once here um, or trying to peel section by section off. So just give me a second and I'm going to go ahead and grab my iPad and I'll actually show you the picture that we're going to be doing. All right, guys, so hopefully you'll be able to see this, but this is the, you know what, let me turn down this light here because I'm getting a little bit of glare on the iPad. Uh, let's see. All right, so as you guys can see here, this is the picture that we're going to be doing. Okay, I think it's really pretty. And so, like I said, they gave me the the choice to pick out the one I wanted, and that was the one I picked. So that is what we're going to be doing. And uh, yeah, so um, now I am actually quite new <laughs> to diamond painting. Um, I've been mainly just coloring. Um, I'm, I've been mainly just coloring, but um, I thought this would be fun to do. And this is going to take me a really, 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 really long time to do. Um, let me just peel this corner back a little bit. Like I said, this is what I'm working on right now. And as, as you guys can see, these symbols are very small. Let me turn that back up. 
there we go. These symbols are actually very small. So you're going to need, um, you're probably going to need some reading glasses or some form of magnification to be able to, you know, to be able to um, do that. Um, what I'm also finding is when I put the drills down, like sometimes they don't want to sit like flush to each other. And maybe, you know, maybe it's it's operator error <laughs> because, um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm very, very new to this. But I, I feel like that they just didn't want to sit right. And so I've had to kind of pop them off a little bit and reattach. Right now they're doing pretty good. Um, these 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 ones here are doing pretty good. They seem like they're sitting okay. But um, I've noticed that sometimes they... they um, they don't want to sit right and I have to kind of, um, I have to put them, you know, I have to reattach and so forth. But anyway, I'm going to keep working on this and uh, I'm going to let you guys know kind of how I'm coming along and what I actually think of the, the canvas. Um, this is going to be quite the challenge. Like I said, it's a bigger one, but I think it's going to turn out really pretty once it's all done. So, um, yeah, so that is our diamond painting unboxing from Victoria's Moon. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. Um, let me... I would do this a little bit on camera with you guys, but I feel like I'd have to get super, 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 super close, you know, to be able to do this even more so with coloring. <laughs> so, you guys would probably see my head a lot, but um, basically... Uh, and you, like... Those of you that are interested in this, you guys probably know how to diamond paint, but um, I'll just, I'll kind of give you guys just a, you know what, we'll do just a, we'll put a few of them down and I'll show you guys what I mean here. So I'm going to get my little tray and I'm going to get some of the drills and we're going to do this um, color 22-939 and uh, I'll show you guys what I mean. So we're just going to take a little bit of the of the drills and put them in here in our tray. I'm not going to put very many. You want to start out kind of small. You can always add more later on, but I'm going to make sure that my baggie is all zipped up because we don't want to lose any pieces. These are really super 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 tiny and we don't want to have a we don't want to have a disaster. So I've got some in my tray. I've poured them in my tray and I'm just going to kind of shake my tray just a little bit and they're going to kind of write themselves you know put them into a position to to pick you know to pick up so uh, like so all right so then I'm going to take my pen and I've already got some wax on there as you guys can see I've done I put some wax on there and I already know like what um, I've, I've looked at my key and I already know that these are going to be fitting in these like blank white squares here so pardon my head guys I know I'm sorry pardon my head uh, but we're gonna pick them up we're gonna pick one up and we're just gonna stick it we're just gonna stick it on there oops there we go and we're gonna stick it on there There we go. And sometimes, um, like I said, it doesn't want to sit right, so you got to try to scooch it over a little bit. Let's see. Ah. Let's see what I'm doing. Okay, so I picked it up, and I'm going to go ahead and, pardon my head, guys, I'm going to stick it, like, right there. next to its partner <laughs> and see I kind of felt like it just did not want to stick correctly so you sometimes have to play with it I'm going to stick one see but anyway guys um i think you get the i think you guys get the idea so i've stuck just a few of them down there and i've had to kind of play with it a little bit just to kind of get it to set right but um i think they're sitting pretty good now i think they're sitting kind of where i want them so anyway um 
I'm going to keep working on this and I'm going to keep doing this. And, uh, and yeah, so, um, I have no idea when I'm going to get this thing finished. Like I said, okay, now I did drop one on the table, as you guys can probably see, I did drop one on the table. So I'm going to just use my, my finger and just, um, pick it up and it will stick to your finger. Um, the oils from your fingers will make it stick. So you'll be able to pick it up and put it back in your tray. Um, but I have no idea when I'm going to get this finished. Um, I don't think that I'll probably do a lot of this off camera and then come back and just, you know, kind of show you um, how I'm coming on it. So this is going to be a project that's going to take me quite a while to do, but um, I'll come back as uh, as I get more of it done and just kind of show you how it's coming along. But, um, and I think the more that you do this, you know, the, the quicker you'll be able to be at, you know, at, at putting them on there. But um, yeah, so I can see how this is this is as relaxing as coloring and fun. So yeah, um, I'm gonna really enjoy this, I think. And uh, and yeah, so um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and um, and and little demo, I guess, <laughs> of how you do this. And uh, and yeah, so if you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Um, hit the like button, of course. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and you'll be able to see. Um, more things like this and you'll be able to see the work in progress that I have here going with with these and um, also when you get done you always want to make sure that you put your you always want to make sure that you put your stuff back because you don't want to leave it out and then have it um, and then have a big mess on your hands so I always like to empty my tray when I am done I put it back in the appropriate baggie and then um, I will just kind of set everything aside for for next time. So anyway, um, if you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, uh, hit the like button, of course. Subscribe to the channel so you can see more stuff like this and to see how this project is coming along. Um, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Hit the notification bell. You all have a great day, and we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Okay, bye, my little goldies.